Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to this quick how-to that shows how to work with Tree View. Uh, in order to test Tree View control, uh, first create a form and add a button to it, and next add a, a Tree View control to it. Okay, as you can see here. Now, to make things easier on writing, uh, change the name of the Tree View into TV. Just a short of yeah so now this is TV whenever we we click uh, on the button we will add a new node so first we will need to read the node uh, and a string and equal input box enter the name of the node okay next we will add the node so it will be TV dot nodes dot add now you can directly add the node or uh, you you can use something called the key which will identify your node we will assume that the, uh, the the text of the node will be the key as well okay and uh, finally uh, uh, yeah for now I will just use this so that uh, we won't get confused okay so let's test this one okay so put it in the center add this is a add again this is b add again this is c and as you can see all of them are on the root what are we gonna do is whenever we select a node we will add a child to to that node so all you have to do is check if the node is selected so if uh, tv dot selected node is nothing uh, then okay this is what you're gonna do this means that if there is no selected node then add the node to the root otherwise go to the selected node and see seek out its children this then the nodes property within selected node will get you the children of the selected node we will add a new child node and uh, and that's it as simple as that so let's run this one and see this is A this is B now A okay you can see it has a child C now C has D and again C has F as you can see and uh, B will have EW for example and uh, have R and I can select this one and go on okay so as you can see we are building uh, the tree very quickly manually now so far this is okay however you don't want to display text instead you want to display fancy images in order to do that you will need something called uh, image list so go to component I think it was right yeah go to components and select image list control and draw it on the form so this is it now after you select it the first thing to, to do is you will find that the image list property will give you the size of the icon so for for now I will select a 32 by 32 icon and the the I want it to be a 24 bit image okay next I will add a number of images okay so when I, when I click choose images I will get this dialog uh, click add select this one 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 click add yeah let's say these are the images you, you would like to use uh, if you see each image has an index this number will tell you uh, which image you are gonna use okay so far these images are contained inside the image list control so in order to use them select your uh, tree view control and search out for the image list property so this is the image list if you open this one you will find the image list control that you created after you select that go to the add nodes we are going to modify it when you want to add the node you just add, yeah you will find the image index so now let's use the image zero however if uh, there, there will be some kind of problem later on uh, you can provide two index 
The first uh, index will tell you the image used when the node is not selected. The second one will tell you the image used when the node is selected. So I will use the image 1 when the node is selected. I will use the image 0 when the node is not selected. So I will let me do this here as well. Okay. And let, let us try this out. So here, add a node, A. As you can see, now I select it, it, it is changed. I will use B. So let me open this one. And you can see B now is selected. Um, B, B. D, D. As you can see. Now whenever I select a new node, it changes. Let's select this one. Okay. As you can see, it's very easy, it's very straightforward. Now I'm going to uh, modify it to make it a little bit uh, better. I already created this uh, variable, it's called i, and I'm setting it to integer, and I will make it loop on the images. <coughs> so i equals i plus 1, sorry, i plus 1, uh, and uh, divide it to uh, take the mod uh, of 4. This will make sure that the images will be between the range 0 and 4. And I won't change uh, the... Uh, I won't make the icon change when the node is selected. Instead, I will make the same. This way, whenever I add a node, it will get a new icon. And then it, it, it will start looping on the icons. So now, this is A. As you can see, I will select it. And this is B. Now you can see B is different. Let me add C over here. And let me add D, E, F, G. Okay, let, let me show you this. Okay, and then it will start looping after a while. Okay, and... Uh, okay. And I'm gonna add R. Let me add another one, Q. Okay, so this is basically how the tree view control works. Uh, and we fill these using manual method. Usually you won't use manual method. Usually you will access the data from the database, get each node and find its children and, and generate them. So uh, this will be all for uh, this quick how-to. I hope you will find it useful that uh, okay if you have any notes any questions send them to me also check out the website to see other how to's and tutorials okay thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye